With part shading, I can immediately determine which geometric features are parts and which are cutouts. To highlight how helpful part shading is, I'm going to turn it off for now by clicking this button on the viewport. I've already drawn a complex part, so I'll open its CAD CAM file. Even experienced CAD users may have to take a moment to visualize this part based only on the drawing. With part shading, however, the part is immediately clear to seasoned CAD veterans and newcomers alike. So you can see what I mean, I'll re-enable it now by clicking here. Now, I'll push the drawing into the CAM module to generate toolpaths. Version 7 has compensated off of the geometry to ensure that the part's dimensions match the drawing. This feature is compatible with blanks as well. I'll start a new project, and then go to the CAM module. I'll open Project Settings, and enter a new material size. Let's say we have 12 inch wide by 2 inch tall blanks. I'll hit the check mark to accept. Then I'll return to the CAD module. When using blanks, I need to switch the top level feature mode from part to cutout. Also, when working with blanks, I like to draw a boundary to represent the material. This can be done by clicking the rectangle tool, scrolling to the bottom of the parameters panel, and checking for construction. Then I'll draw a 12 inch by 2 inch rectangle, the size of our material, and check it in. I'll use the circle tool to draw four mounting holes and check each of them in. Now, using the text tool, I'm going to create some text and place it down. I'll check it in, and then select it. Now, I'll click the explode tool, and then the check mark, to turn the text object into CAD geometry. I'll push the drawing into CAM, where you can see that version 7 recognizes the geometry I made as cutouts. When I push it into CNC, my G code is generated, and this plate is ready to cut. The new part shading feature in version 7 is a clear and simple way to help users visualize and understand their drawings. Thank you for watching. Please contact us if you have any further questions or visit us online at flashcutcnc.com.